What is up YouTube, Nas Rocks here, and in this video I'll be showing you how to fix the Topanga error when you're trying to jailbreak your device with the latest version of Electra. Now even though you didn't install the Topanga jailbreak, you still might get this error and it's due to the APFS attempting to create a stock snapshot of your device. So if you installed any tweaks, themes, or did any modifications to the file system, you need to remove them all. You pretty much have to wipe your device clean of everything you installed manually. To get started, you need to install the Topanga Remover, Fauza, and Terminal, and you'll need to be jailbroken with Electra. Now, everything is going to be done on the device, but if you prefer, you can SSH onto the device from your computer. And just in case you guys need any of these applications, I'll put the links down below in the description. Once you have everything installed and you're ready to go, open up Topanga. Give it a second and tap to remove Topanga. Let it do its thing and when it's done, you'll need to reboot your device. When your device comes back on, unlock it, swipe over and now you can delete the Topanga application. Press and hold on the app, tap the X and delete it. Next you'll need to launch Electra and make sure your device is in a jailbroken state. Once it comes back on, open up Falza, navigate all the way back to forward slash, go into bootstrap, library and then themes if you have any themes installed on your device which should be inside this folder you need to delete all of them tap edit highlight them all and tap delete go back and let's go into sp inject scroll through the files and if you have any other files than the ones you're seeing now delete them all if you followed some of my tweak videos, you'll probably find the file from Fluid Enabler or Eclipse. Next, you can start looking through the other folders and if you find anything in them, delete it. When you hit Launch Demons, you can leave these two files alone. Now, if you install the extender, you can head back to that page, scroll down to the bottom and there's instructions on how to uninstall the application. You guys are going to have to be very careful now not to delete anything you're not supposed to. So if you installed files in the root directory of your device, go into bin and if you see a bash file, make sure you delete it. Go into applications, scroll down and delete the files of folder. Make sure you don't have Cydia, if you do, delete that folder as well. Scroll through the applications and make sure you delete any extra app that you manually installed on your device. Once you're done, reboot your device and if you still see the files icon, that's completely fine. Let's open up Electra. Tap jailbreak and wait for it to respring. So now that it's back on, you'll see that Fauza was uninstalled and now we're going to delete the Electra application and all of its files. Open up M terminal and we're going to run two commands one at a time. First you're going to type this command, then hit return. Next you're going to type bash space unjailbreak.sh, then hit return again. Tap return one more time and wait for your device to respring. Once it's back on, delete the Electra application and I'm also going to delete M-Terminal. Now my device and yours should be as close to stock as possible. Here we go. Now let's open up Safari, navigate to iOS emulator spot, hit the menu tab and go into the Electra jailbreak page. I'll put the link down below in the description. Once you get there, scroll down a bit, tap the icon, then install, back out and wait for it to finish. Just in case the app is ever revoked, you could download the application in the jailbreak IPA page and install it using Impactor. I'll link you to the video down below. Now that it's done, let's go into the settings, general, scroll down to device management, select this profile and tap trust twice, back out and now you can open up Electra. As you can see it loaded up and it's working perfectly fine. Once you're ready, make sure to enable the tweaks and tap the jailbreak button. Let it do its thing, give it a minute and as you can see I didn't get an error and APFS was successfully able to create a snapshot of my device. For some people it may fail to create a snapshot but you can still continue to jailbreak. Now what this means is you won't be able to use semi restore to restore your device back to this state. Tap continue, give it about a minute and once it's done your device will respring. Now that it's back on, unlock it, swipe over and there's Cydia. Just be careful when installing tweaks or themes as most of them still need to be updated for iOS 11. So hopefully I helped you guys fix this error and you enjoy the jailbreak. If you need some help, leave me a comment and don't forget to smash that subscribe button and turn on your notifications.
This is Nas Rocks. Peace. Peace.